believe that it's the last week in intermediate month already. It's unbelievable. So for this week's challenge, we have actually got 12 data sets that we need to connect to. Um, so they're all in CSV text files. So I've connected to just one of them, the first one. And in my input step, I've gone to the tables tab and gone to union multiple tables to allow us to wildcard union those inputs together. So you can see here we've got all 12 tables applied just by saying union multiple tables. They were all saved in the same folder um, and I hit the apply button and now I've got this little plus here um, and I can see that I've got my file paths associated with the file names for each of those tables. So our first thing that we want to go ahead and do is we want to, from those file paths, we want to extract the month number. So the way that I chose to do this was to clean up this field so that I went to the clean step um, I was in a clean step already, sorry. I went to the clean option uh, for this field and I removed the letters and I removed the punctuation. So did the same twice so that I'm just left with the numbers there so that I can go ahead and make a make date calculation. So let me just show you those changes in the step that I did them. So um, I removed the punctuation and then I removed the letters just to leave those numbers, replaced this uh, blank space just typed in a one here instead of the blank um, so that I had uh, January's month there as well. I renamed the field to be month, I changed it to be a numeric data type and then I made a calculated field out of it. So I said make date 2023 month and then one. So that'll just make it the first of the month for 2023. And that was how I got the file dates. For the market cap field, then you can see that it's nice and human readable. It has the currency and then the value and um, it's it's um, I can't think of the word that I mean. It's rounded, if you like, um, into like billions, millions. Um, but that's not going to be very easy for us um, to use in, say, a program like Tableau Desktop. So we need to clean this up too. So similar kind of logic. I duplicated this field so that I could keep all the information about it. Um, and I removed the letters from it. And then I replaced that dollar sign with nothing and changed it into a numeric field. So let's go and see how that looks. So of course, sorry, the first thing I did with my market cap field is excluded the NAs. So you can see um, down the bottom before of our uh, market cap was the NA, or I could do a search for N slash A. Um, of course, I've already filtered it out, so there's nothing returned, but I could always search for it and exclude it that way. Just by clicking on the value, I know that's not any, and then go to exclude. Okay, so then I duplicated it once I'd done that. Um, so I have this market cap dash one field, um, and I went ahead and renamed that to be market capitalization and did the whole removing letters step again. But the reason I duplicated it was so that I still had the information about which ones were millions and billions uh, in another field so that I could work from there. I then wrote a calculated field. And again, we're gonna read from the inside outwards. So I'm replacing first, I'm replacing my dollar signs with nothing. And then I'm turning this into a numeric value. So I'm wrapping in a float function, which will change it into a decimal place number. And there we go, it goes like this, but I've still got uh, very low values here. So for example, I've got 1.14 instead of 1.14 billion. So final step is to do a market capitalization field, um, just overwriting my current field that I have and saying if the market cap field, the original one contains an M, then I'm gonna multiply the market capitalization field by a million. I did realize at some point during this challenge that instead of making my life painful and counting how many zeros I'm adding, I could have used a different way of doing that. Instead, I could have used the power function, so doing 10 to the power of 6, for example. That would give me um, a million rather than having to sit there and count out six zeros. So that's probably what I should have done, but it's not what I did throughout this challenge. Um, so then I did the billions as well. Um, and there are some that didn't have an M or a B in there. So if they don't have that uh, qualifier, then we can just leave it as the value that it is. Okay. So that gets us a nice cleaned up market capitalization field. You can see that most of the values are um, below, say, what is that? That's like 
a hundred billion <laughs> um, but there are some outliers some are bigger than that some are as high as like 741 hundred billion nope let's not test me on reading out large numbers shall we that's not the purpose of the challenge okay so now we're going to do some categorizations so with this uh purchasing price field that we have here that's all nice and clean for us already which is great so um, all we're going to do with that is group it up so we're saying um, for the low category that is anything between the price of zero and uh, 250,000 so we will put that into the low category and then so on and so forth until we get to the very high nice and simple and then we do the same for the market capitalization. We do a very similar logic. Again, this is where I wished I'd used my power function rather than counting the number of zeros I wrote out. It would have been uh, less likely to have human error and more precise. So that's what I would do in the future. And finally, we come on to that ranking. So we're ranking our purchasing price field and we go to the um, purchase price Sorry, is it the purchase price? Let's just reopen it. I'm doubting myself. Yes, it is the purchase price. So when we go into the menu of purchase price and go to create calculated field, we have the option to create a rank there. And we can just keep adding in our fields that we want to have that rank going across. So file date, purchase price category, and market cap category. And that's how we get our rankings. And then I just did a quick filter to say that I want my rank to be less than six. So include only ranks between one and five. Um, and I removed a couple of unnecessary fields and finally come to the output step. So hopefully you enjoyed this challenge um, and thanks very much for being a part of Intermediate Month. Stay tuned for Advanced Month. Ooh. Thanks for watching.